Today we're going to create a pocket boutonniere. You're going to need your glue gun. You're going to need a piece of cardstock or cardboard that will fit in your pocket. You're going to need your greenery, ribbon, and of course you'll also need your flowers that you're going to add. Fillers and anything else that would make this boutonniere come to life. The materials of course can change, so really whatever you have left over from maybe making a bouquet or other arrangements, feel free to use those little bits and pieces are perfect for a project like this. So the first thing we're gonna do is take your piece of cardboard or cardstock and we're going to wrap that in a ribbon. It's good to glue your greenery down to. It's also good because it just gives it that nice polished look. So I'm gonna um, glue on the back of this card and I'm gonna go all the way around once before I start angling upwards with my ribbon. You can use ribbon that's thinner than this or a little thicker. And what I really want you to think about is you do want to add glue to keep it held down, but you're gonna to wanna to add glue primarily on one side. And the reason I'm saying this is because then you're gonna create almost like these little pockets in the ribbon that you'll be able to place the greenery ends into and glue into as well. So having one side that's secured down and the other side keeping a little um, space there by not gluing on that side will help you get those little pockets for the greenery. So here what I'm doing is just creating a little bit of an angle on my ribbon so that I spiral it upwards as I go around. So once I kind of add a little fold there, I add just a dab of the hot glue and I'm gonna hold it down so that I have my diagonal upwards. And it's not a real big angle upwards, it's just enough. Your ribbon doesn't have to be this thick three inch ribbon, it could be two inch, it could be one inch, as long as you get that coverage, that's all we're really looking for here. Again, most of this is gonna be right inside the pocket and you're not gonna see it at all, but it does have it a nice polished look if you finish it off like this. So now we're just going to go ahead and spiral that ribbon all the way up. All right, so speeding up the video here so you don't have to watch, this will take you a minute or two just to align nicely. And then when you get to the very end, then you're going to want to glue it down nice and securely again on that one side. Um, I had to have some extra ribbon there, so I folded it over and glued that down on that back side as well. A generous amount of glue, really hold that down, make sure it's secure. This is gonna be the part that will just slide into the pocket, so no one's really gonna necessarily see that. So here we are, ready to create our boutonniere. It's gonna go into your pocket about half of the way, and we're gonna cover that top half with greenery first, creating that base layer. And so I am pulling this ruscus apart into different pieces. You could cut with scissors, but this piece rips pretty easily. And then we're just going to find the right placement to put these in. I really encourage you to, before you just start gluing, especially on the first one, um, to just sort of play around and see what you like. Do you like the greenery sticking up higher? Do you want it tucked in a little bit lower? Do you want it to come all out on the sides? How much room do you need for your flowers? So definitely, it's sort of like building a puzzle, but you haven't seen the picture. So you don't know quite what it's gonna look like, especially on this first one. So you'll see me here playing around with, do I like this piece here or there? A lot of movement before I make any decisions and I do any gluing. I like playing with the depths, having some smaller pieces and some bigger pieces. And I'm gonna add so much more other greenery that I don't have to necessarily worry too much about this first layer. So I'm gonna come in next with this spiral eucalyptus, which I've also cut these pieces apart, and I kinda of wanna just place them in between the sprigs of the ruscus. Again, creating different textures, different movement throughout the piece. Uh, also, just wanting to create a fullness. I think the idea of a pocket boutonniere, as opposed to a traditional boutonniere, is that you're almost like putting a little field of wildflowers coming right out of the pocket. So this is a chance for you to really have a lot of fun and be creative and make this as big or as little as you want. So here I'm breaking off some of the little leaves just so that there's more of a stem to stick into the folds and to glue. Um, and I haven't glued a single thing yet, so keep that in mind. Still absolutely can change this as much as I want to or if I feel like there's something that's missing or I wanna move a piece of greenery over. So now, once I've finished playing around with all of these pieces, I'm gonna add in 
some glue. So I hate to add too many layers without gluing because then I feel like there's a chance that when I take it apart, I'm not gonna remember what it looks like. So I'm just starting with gluing that bottom layer and I'm adding a little bit of glue to the stem, pressing it down right into the ribbon and letting it hold. You wanna be generous, but you don't wanna do so much glue that when you press it down into there, um, the glue oozes everywhere and closes off those little pockets you've created with the ribbon. And that will just give you a chance not to have somewhere easy to glue other pieces into. So a minor amount, just know that as you add other greenery and fillers in, you'll have more glue and everything should hold. If something falls out, it's easy enough to glue back in, especially at this stage. So just speeding up the process of gluing in these last pieces in so you don't have to watch it in real time. Once we've got these in, we're gonna go ahead and add the next layer of greenery, which is gonna be the grass. So these are some pretty long pieces, as you can see, and it might look a little silly to have them at full length um, in my pocket boutonniere. So one of these things where, again, I'm going to want to break these apart into some smaller sprigs so that I can sneak them in between the other greenery and add a lot of that layering. So it's just, again, about figuring out exactly where you want each piece, creating that look. And now that I've got enough greenery in there and I know I'm confident about where I want pieces, I'm gonna go ahead and just glue them as I go. Um, I do wanna look at the gaps that I have. Where do I need some higher pieces? Where do I need some lower pieces? Maybe saving some pieces for later move and you can still shift things around at this point. So you just wanna create that little bit of a greenery base that feels a little wild, a little fun, and a little full to sneak your small flowers into. So just speeding up that process so you don't have to watch it all, feel free to pause the video if you're creating along with me. We've got our greenery base and we are ready for some flowers. So it's always good to have some extra little mini flowers on hand and play around with the design. You don't necessarily need to use them all. So I wanna make the centerpiece of this, this great little mini bark flower. And I really may only use just one of these um, and then do multiples of some of the other colors. So sometimes you might use a wire and sometimes you might use just the glue depending on where it's going. So on this, I'm putting a little wire in and I'm bending that wire straight down so that I can slide this like the greenery into those little pockets. Um, you can absolutely use just glue, but I like to maybe sometimes make things a little more secure or be able to give dimension um, by leaning a piece outwards, which I can do if I have the wire. So here, I don't really like where that one sprig of greenery is hitting in front of my flower, so I wanna move my flower over. Worst case scenario, you could always move the greenery as well. So once I figure out where I really like it, then I will glue it in place. I think I've found my spot here, so I'm gonna add that glue. We're gonna slide that right down into that fold Again, if you got the hot glue strings, hit it with the hair dryer later, no big deal. And once this flower's in, I'm gonna work around that nice bark flower and come in next. I've got this blue flower, which is a lot of fun. Um, the accent colors are the blue and the bark, and I'm gonna use a lot of the orange and a lot of the ivory. So this is important, kind of look around. Where is this gonna look cute? Is there a spot that you want to put this if the back has got a little bit of extra wood there, just trim it a little shorter. And this one I'm just gonna glue straight down because it's gonna attach right to where that ribbon is. It's at the base underneath my bark flower. And then as I'm holding it down to make sure the glue really adheres, I'm just gonna move around a few of those sprigs. When you feel confident that it's glued and good to go, then you can let go and work on your next flower placement. So this is gonna slide right in that pocket so you can always test along the way. You do wanna make sure that if you put something towards the bottom that it feels pretty secure, it is possibly going to hit the pocket, so maybe adding a leaf underneath is good. All right, so I'm grabbing these little tiny white minis and making a really little stem there. These are sweet to put in between pieces of greenery or even right in between the leaves of the ruscus. And the ivory will be great to add pops all around on this little pocket boutonniere. So when you find that spot, add your glue slide it in like I am here. You'll see it's gonna go right between that triad of leaves in the ruscus. And then just speeding up that process, really making sure it's secure, adding another one of these down a little bit lower. We want that movement across the piece so I don't necessarily want all the ivory flowers at the top. And then I'm gonna to start to add in these really even tinier orange flowers. So I've got this gap towards the top. I'm just gonna glue this flower right in between the leaves of the ruscus. It's just a great spot for it to hold. I don't need the wire. And then it's just about finding 
ways that you can really work these little flowers in. So they can go a little bit under leaves, they can go on leaves, you can use the wire to put them between leaves. Just kind of glue and work on a design that just feels right to you. All right, so speeding it up, I'm adding in those orange flowers in a couple different spots. I'm even adding a few pieces of greenery underneath just to fill where those orange flowers were and so that the bottom feels even. Lots of the mini orange flowers, and now I can see that I just need another, at least one more ivory flower. Things are lovely in threes or in uneven numbers, especially if it's something that's gonna stand out. So just playing around with the design and idea of where I want this ivory flower. Once you've got it, go ahead and glue it in. This is one without a wire stem, just again, going right between some pieces of Ruscus. It really nestles and holds right in there, um, so it's a great spot to put things. Then you're really just gonna look at that piece. Now you can still add some more greenery, you can add some fillers, you could always add more flowers, and you just kinda wanna get a sense of where is there a gap, where do I need a little bit more? Do I need more of one color or another? So I can sort of feel like I just need an odd number of these orange flowers. I'm gonna go ahead and add another one in. Sometimes it's lovely to pair a color right next to another flower of the same color um, and just not have the design be so perfect and evenly distributed. So once you've got it, good bit of glue, slide it right in and then be sure to hold it down so it stays exactly where you want it. And now we're ready to add some more fun stuff in. So take a look. If you need any more greenery, it's a great chance to add it. And so I would like more of a wild feel in this, and I love this grass because it adds that texture in. So really look around and see where could I add it, maybe from the top, maybe from the bottom. Definitely maybe some more sticking out on the side between flowers. And when you find those perfect spaces, just add that little bit of glue and then be sure that it's grabbing onto something, whether it be the ribbon or another piece of greenery. All right, so speeding up the process, you're gonna see I add more greenery in, um, all different kinds, even more flowers. Make sure things are secure. Here I'm adding some greenery underneath those flowers. Really it's a little bit to protect them from the um, pocket when you put it in there. So adding a little extra greenery to support under the flowers is never a bad idea. And I, I just couldn't stop adding flowers, so I added and layered. Now it's time for the fillers. So here I have some baby pompous grass, and what I love is you can break this into tons of little tiny pieces. So if you just kind of go between the feathery stems and you go down, you'll see that you'll find the stem in there. You can break it apart with your fingers. You don't need scissors or anything like that. And you've got a little stem that you can use. You've got the fun... Um, fluffy top of the pompous because you don't need something giant in here so I'm gonna work these pieces in at the top and on the sides and even in between as you can see in the next sped up portion all right so adding these throughout um, different heights different positions you don't necessarily need things to be super symmetrical and then we're gonna add in or attempt to add in some of this. This is a different type of pompous grass and you can see um, it's from a bigger piece of pompous so the pieces aren't quite as confined and they're a little bit wild, which I like, but these also flake apart a lot easier. So if you're gonna do something like this, sometimes with dried florals, you just kind of work with what you can. If some pieces fall off, um, it's just par for the course and I'm just adding a little bit extra in is good. So I'm trying to sneak these up at the top between, but as you're going to see, um, in my attempts, I like pretty much glue it to my fingers. That happens. Um, one trick is you can actually use some floral tape and wrap it around the end of a piece and then put glue on it. So if, if you're having troubles and it doesn't want to stick on its own like I'm doing here, feel free to try that option. You can also just add some glue right where you want and then use a wire or a toothpick or something else to kind of push it down so maybe that it doesn't stick right on your finger as well. All right, so I added a few pieces of that stuff in. Not gonna lie, it's definitely working to be a challenge. So little pieces wherever you can. I do like the texture, I like the different color. I like what it adds to this. Um, I just was kind of a pain in the butt to work with. So if you do find a material like that, just depends how bad you want it in there. Um, work with the patients and take your time and use whatever tools you have available to make it look super cute. So continuing on, I've got some of this preserved um, eucalyptus, it's another style of eucalyptus. I'm really liking the idea of mixing the faux greenery with the wood flowers and the preserved and dried materials. It just adds a lot of texture and interest to the piece. So again, I'm just having little stems of this, breaking down one larger piece into several little pieces. 
Um, at this point, there's a lot of stuff in here. So if you glue a piece in, even if it's not going into the fold of the ribbon, it's gonna grab onto a greenery or a filler or the back side of a flower. So you should be able to be a little more lenient um, with your gluing and not worry about getting into the folds. If a piece doesn't stay quite where you want or it doesn't look right, change up which one you're using. Keep looking at your piece from all angles. Even pop it into a pocket of a coat and see if there's a gap or a space that just needs a little more of a certain color or a certain texture. And then don't be afraid to just add a little too much. I think pocket boutonnieres are all about being a little bit extra. All right, so here we've got um, really almost our whole boutonniere fixed up. Um, this is a chance for you to look and see, is there a place that needs just a little bit more? And once you really check it out, give it a look. Um, so it looks pretty cute, right? <laughs> it's upside down, sorry about that. Um, so you can see that maybe underneath here is a spot where just because it's gonna hit the suit, it might be a good place to add a leaf or two. So I'm gonna grab some lamb's ear leaves that I can slide underneath there, give it a little protection for the flowers. Um, so I peel the veining off the back so it's really like a piece of fabric and I'm almost like folding it in half under the flower so that half of it will be glued to the ribbon base at the bottom and the other half will be there sort of protecting the flower. Um, and I just, I like that idea, I don't know, I, I just think about you don't want a flower to get crushed when it's coming in and out of a pocket and just anything you can do to make this a little sturdy and usable again is definitely a bonus. So adding some more glue along the one side of that leaf for the other side. And then this one didn't go in quite as easy just because of my flower placement. Um, this might be a good thing to even do at an earlier stage, but I did it here and it's working out just fine also. No one's really gonna see this part as much. Um, you do want the greenery to match, so don't use something too crazy different. But really it's just um, a little bit of a mechanism to support the flowers and make sure that everything stays put. Um, adding a little extra glue for that security. And we've got our pocket boutonniere. And if there's any other pieces that don't want to stay or come out, feel free to add. Sometimes you notice later on that you just need a little pop of color, or in this case, pompous grass, in a spot just to make the piece really feel complete. Um, any of these little bits and bobs can work, but here you have it. Super cute. You're just going to slide that right down into a pocket, and you have a gorgeous pocket boutonniere to use. Mm -hmm.